What up, YouTube Legacies? Welcome back to my channel. For those that are new, welcome. For those that are returning, stick around. Make sure you smash that subscribe button as soon as you come in. Knock out that notification bell. Show some love. Help a brother out. Leave a comment down below. Give this video a like as soon as you come in. And stick around. Enjoy this reading. What up, Capricorn Legacies? I'm going to be doing a reading for 2022. We'll just kind of take a look at the next couple weeks, months. I'm going to be using the Urban Tarot, which is a new deck that I recently purchased. And I am a strong fan of it already. Um, I'll be reading a lot from the book because we'll be learning here together. I need to get more familiar with it. And what better way than to do it with you guys? Okay, let's begin. Oh, let's cut the deck. Capricorn. Capricorn gang. Uh, coming into the new year, I have set a goal that by the end of this month, I will have 1,000 subscribers. I want my channel to reach more people. And I can't really do that without the help of you guys. So it sounds a little um, much, I would think, to ask. But if you, from the kindness of your heart, may share this video on your social media accounts, if the message resonates, I would be greatly appreciative. Please make sure to check out your other placements if this one does not resonate. And yeah, we'll just jump into the reading. And when you guys subscribe to this channel and join the Tarot Legacy Tribe, it really allows me to connect more to your energy. And in meditation, actually, uh, I was getting images of Jesus for you. Christmas lights, mistletoes, New Year's clinking. A higher power, a higher spiritual presence. Even now, my eye, like my left eye always twitches when I feel a presence. <laughs> The activist. So we have the princess of swords. Okay. A lot of you are within your red, orange, and green chakras. Definitely. It's like, it's almost like 22 was an invitation for you to regain power of your voice. It's definitely coming from the throat chakra. Yeah. Yeah, so big change, unexpected changes coming, small victories amounting to something bigger. What's funny is I'm getting, so this is the Urban Tarot, by the way. Um, this is an image I'm getting from, for those Capricorns out there for, uh, The song Sweetie with Doja Cat. She's my best friend. And then like, and then she's like, she got a Tesla or she got a test. She's my bestie driving something, something in a Tessie. So that's like a song I'm hearing right now. Uh, let's see. We also have a queen of swords. So we have a lot of air energy. Yeah, all air, except the chariot, of course. We have the Queen of Swords. So some of you are very creative, like to stay at home, painters, people that studied art. We also have the Seven of Swords. So you may be, for the females out there, you may be uh, highly fertile at this point in time. Uh, it's almost like, I'm also hearing like, women feminists 
that are speaking in their voice. They're standing up for their rights. It's like you guys are finding 2022, 2022 to be a year of activism, of choosing and speaking your voice. And it's like through protests of art and like exposing live art in extravagant, like rare ways. Like you have a very like artistic original approach to your way of doing this, which I find very uh, infatuating. And this is why you also have the chariot because I see a lot of small victories coming for you at the beginning of 2022, amounting to something bigger. Like it's slowly reaching a climax and it's just going to explode into something huge. So continue on that path that you're on right now because I see great things coming for you. Yeah, see, the star, fireworks. I'm getting also like that video of, I'm like seeing that video of Taylor Swift where she's like dancing. Like it's almost like ballet. She's jumping over cars and it's like raining outside. And then she like comes in. And then we have the eight of discs as well. At the bottom of the deck, your challenge is the nine of discs. We'll take a look at all of these right now. Let's take a look at the book. Let's see what the Princess of Swords has to say. So that was your overall energy. Let's see. The Activist. The Princess of Swords represents the earthly part of air, the fixation of the volatile. She brings, up, she brings about the materialization of idea. She represents the influence of heaven upon earth. She partakes of the characteristics of Minerva and Ard Artemis, Artemis, Artemis. And there is some suggestion of the Valkyrie, Valkyrie. She represents to some extent the anger of the gods and she appears helmed with serpent haired Medusa for her chest. I'm also getting like, like someone has Medusa or like a snake like tattooed on their body like in this general area she stands in front of the barren altar as if to avert its pro profanation and she stabs downward with her sword the heaven and the clouds which are home seem angry the bell paragraph opens crawley's description of the princess of swords and what i found to be an unusually poetic and powerful message that's what i was saying it's like infatuating what you're doing capricorn the beautiful painting of that card created for it by lady frida frida harris the painting the painter the activist the artist it's fairly clear to see how much my princess was inspired by his. Logical and clever, yet stable and practical, the princess cannot be swayed. She cannot be intimidated, rather than a Valkyrie. I envision my princess as an environmental activist. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong, Valkyrie. Rooted in the earth, she knows that a storm is coming and she needs to change a lot of minds in order to fight it. She is a warrior at heart and her weapon in her words. So your words are your greatest asset, Capricorn. You have a way of words, you're well-spoken. Use that to your advantage because people are willing to listen to what you have to say. And not only that, but they're willing to watch your actions, your uh, next indicated steps. Let's read the chariot. Uh, I found it. I found this one. Oh, let's read the star, actually. The star is a card of hope in the major arcana. It is a dream just out of view, too far off to see, but powerful enough to guide you and give you strength someday, somehow, somewhere out there. 
and what to do when we honor our hopes and our dreams we pour out of our love not knowing if it will come back to us we give forward the best of ourselves and use it to nurture a vision that may never come to be so in this sense it's more so like that the chaoticness of the world around us especially right now with COVID-19 and the Omicron and all those mutable variants it's like the star card is a sign of hope it's that small silver lining of hope that people are still willing to have faith in it's like you're prudent to to get the job done to make sure that nothing holds you back let's see what the chariot has Uh, let's see. It's basically continuing to confront those obstacles in your life by calling. By calling in good energies, the small victories in life. Pretty much what I was saying. Um... There's also a consistency. It's like you're reliable, you're responsible, Capricorn. Very good energy. Oh, at the bottom of the deck, we have the nine of discs. So it's also a reminder to look at what, what, what you've gained over 2021. Use what you learned in 2021 as your gains, as your stepping stones for 2022. Like, don't forget to reap the rewards of your satisfactions. And, like, continue to do self-care. By self-care, you can reach pure rewards. And... With the eight of discs, it's like whatever downfalls you had in 2021, use those failures as opportunities to learn. Learn from your mistakes. Remain teachable. I'm like getting to like step away from the book. Like they're telling me to hear what, just hear the messages I'm getting. But some of you are like, I hear a lot of you have a, I'm hearing a clock like a like an old school clock with a chain or like someone in your family used to have one Let's see what other messages so your challenge is to make sure you reap the rewards of the success you're getting yeah because there's a strong like full circle cycle here with the seven of wands that or I'm sorry, with the four of wands, it's like it's a celebration of completion to something that took a lot of hard work in 2021. It's also the foundation to something far bigger in the near future. Let's pull more messages. Oh, that was fast. Yeah, there's major success coming in. Uh, there's people, it's like you're living a more lavish, luxurious lifestyle you have the ability to stay well informed. So it's like a lot of you read the news all the time. You like to read, I'm hearing a Daily Mail, the New York Post, the LA Times. Ooh, okay, so here's that darker energy. So a lot of you Capricorns are people in recovery Okay, you've dealt with a drug addiction, been in prison, toxic relationships. A lot of you had a bad smoking habit. Um, it seems like you're trying to seek for help. You're starting to understand that you need to ask for help. And taking a step back, this is why I created this channel. Because I'm in recovery myself. And I wanted to be transparent and vulnerable with my viewers. And it's okay to ask for help, especially for the males out there. 
like it's almost like especially if you come from like hispanic traditions it's almost viewed as like oh you're, you're like you have to be strong you're a male like you know males just figure it out we don't show emotion but you're the strongest male when you do show emotion when you are vulnerable when you are transparent when you do ask for help that is what truly takes courage and bravery and this is why you have the hope the star here because you still have hope in this grander picture and you're going to have this abundance this completion of com completing a cycle which i'm hearing for some of you like you just celebrated four months of sobriety i'm also getting six months of sobriety seven and eight it's like a lot of you are in early recovery you're like between four five six seven and eight months of sobriety your angel number here is seven eight four so i'm going to look that up for you and we'll take a look at what the angels have in store for you so far if you liked this message share comment you know share it on your guys' social media spread the love spread the message 784. Let's look at what 784 is. Angel number 784. Okay. Belief is a significant symbol from angel number 784. How much do you, how much do you believe in yourself, Capricorn? Is it, is it possible that you believe in others more than you believe in yourself? Well, this is a sign from the angels for you to begin asking yourself how much do you trust and believe in yourself? Yeah, I'm getting imaging of like someone having like pre-relapsed thoughts reach out to your sponsor, ask for help, you know, go to a meeting, get to a meeting, meaning makers make it. The guardian angels are sending you a message asking you to begin knowing your worth and your value. You may, it may seem impossible because while growing up, you were told very harsh things by your parents about yourself. Yeah, been there. Traumatic, verbal abuse, right? The number 784 is reminding you that you are better and greater than you think. Just begin to believe in yourself, Capricorn. Do not doubt yourself and start by surrounding yourself with friends who believe and trust in you at all times. Get that strong community support group for you. Friends will remind you how valuable and worthy you are. It encourages you to let people in your life so that they can help you achieve a better version of yourself. I was just saying, don't be afraid to ask for help. Decide what your priorities are and what are important. Embrace the positive energies that your guardian angels are sending into your life. Focus on becoming the best version of yourself. Uh, let's see, you must belong to something and if not, belong to yourself. This means take care of yourself. Go on trips and buy yourself shoes and clothes that make you feel good about yourself. Um, basically, surround yourself with people that are best for you. I feel like there's something more that this website was not saying. Let me try a different one. Let's see. It's a message that your persistent prayers and positive affirmations. So a lot of you have been doing looking in the mirror and saying positive affirmations to build your self-esteem, remind yourself of your worth, your value. Good job. Keep doing that. The angels are acknowledging your responses, your affirmations. They encourage you to continue on your current path as this will ensure that all of your needs will be met and your life will be filled with joy and blessings. So if you stay in gratitude and you stay in humbleness, I'm hearing like more is to come, more will be revealed. Accept, accept your rewards with grace and gratitude is just saying that. 
and keep up the good work. You're consistently manifesting positive abundance by thinking positively. The good work you have been doing is set to bring gains, benefits, and rewards into your life, which is why your challenge was the eight of the eight of discs and gain was the word. I'm gonna pair it with uh, angels and ancestors oracle deck to compare your angel messages. Oh, this one came out. Oh yeah, no, 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 no. I was hearing don't take it. <laughs> so we have animal guardian, trust your instincts. So trust your value, trust yourself. And moon, take note of your intuitive messages. So if you have a strong intuition, most of the time, I would say 99.9% .9 of the time, your intuition, that feeling that you have in your gut is right. Listen to that inner voice of positivity because that's what's going to elevate you to a higher consciousness, a higher calling. Don't listen to the fears. Listen to the dreams that you have, the, the, the big picture. That is your goal. And as far as the animal spirit, if you have a, you know, a pet guardian, uh, a licensed dog, right, to help you in emotional support, get one because I'm hearing a lot of you like one. Take that step to reach your bigger picture. Again, if you like this message, comment down below, like, subscribe, share this video on your social media accounts, spread the message, and tell me down below why this message resonated. Don't forget to live out your best legacy, Capricorn.